Okay guys, in this session we are going to see how to host a web application using Apache HTTP server. Okay. To know more about this, what we need to do is we need to first understand about the directives of Apache HTTP server. The important directory that we need to know to host file is a document root. Just we will go through this directive quick reference section about document root okay just navigate to document root section you can see the short description about a directory that forms the main document tree visible from the web okay just i'm clicking over it and just going to just go through a couple of lines in it okay this directory says the directory from which http will serve the files so from this particular directory only http server will start to serve the files okay if for example if the files are available over this particular directory then this will serve the file inside this particular directory okay it will look for the file inside this directory so just read over it the server appends the path from the requested url to the document root to make the path to the document then access to something like this if you are giving your hostname like this then the index.html file which is available inside this user web will be get served. Okay, so we are just going to see how this is happening in real time. Okay, so here I just want to check first uh, what is my current document directory. Okay, Apache HTTP server. Okay, inside this we have our configuration file just search for directory what is the direct document root sorry so document root okay so if we see this the files are getting served from this particular directory okay i'm just going to start the server now um just navigate inside bin sorry bin and type Apache CTL and hyphen key stop if it is already running. Just stop it. No, it's not stop. It's not running before. So just I'm starting it. Okay, just try to access it. 192.68.128.00. So it works. Okay, from where this content is getting delivered? Where this it works? Document is available. Just you can check the content of this HTML file. Just reload this request. Just go to this HTML. So this content is exist somewhere. Okay. So if you see in our document section again, one minute, just I'm going trying to navigate inside this configuration file. Okay. So this docu document doc. So just navigate inside this directory. Okay. So here we have an extra HTML file. So this is where this particular file is exists. So as a part of this, I also just want to host list of sites that I have created. Just I want to show a demo. So I have created two websites and just I'm going to upload this content inside this virtual machine. Okay. So I need some to from windows to index this is one from the file transfer so i need this win SAP software just open it um, just open a new session just type whatever the ip that you want 168.56.11 okay that's for the password just enter the password okay it's open now i have files in my desktop so i'm just going to upload it mm. so this is it. and i'm going to navigate inside my document root which, which one is my document root this is htdoc is my document root so i'm just going to upload this inside my server okay still upload it so just you can verify it here the sounds a bit Okay, unzip it. One more. Uh, I have two websites, and I just want to uh, unzip that as well. 
just delete the sim version of it. Okay, so here I have now two more folder exist. Uh, so just go to this website, just type over here as and as. What are you getting? You are getting the content of the website, right? So this is just a website that I created to host my running community details. So and I have one more website which I developed using underscore templating mechanism just you can access it as well okay so it sucks so this is how you need to host your developed website using web server so what I need to do is first need to find out what document root defaultly your web server is using if it is using HTTP docs then just place the list of files over it and in the forthcoming sessions we will see how to make this as a default root. even even now you can do that we can do that one minute just i'm going to navigate inside this con i'm just going to change this renders as my default document root. okay so i'm going to do that just look for document root go to your document root section and just type that runners. okay so every study is really required because we can done a configuration change in our HTTP.conf file. So just navigate inside our bin file. Just type Apache CTL hyphen key restart. So restart. Okay. Just just give nothing. Just keep type eight zero eight zero. Sorry, I think it is getting shown from cache. Just I want to open a fresh session. It should. It should up. Yeah, it works. Okay, this is how you need to customize your document and you need to make your website visible over the web. Uh, I hope it helps, guys. See you next session. Thank you. Bye bye.